This is the plaintiff, Rodney Carter. He says he purchased a Mercedes-Benz from the defendant, and the guy's not honoring the warranty. The car needs $4,882.47 in repairs. That's just what he's suing for today. This is the defendant, Omid Eliyahu. He says the plaintiff went to another dealership and came up with a laundry list of repairs. The plaintiff refused to allow him to do the work. He wants to have his bill paid at the other dealership, and he can't seem to get the guy to understand that's not how these things work. He's accused of banging up a Benz owner. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says he bought a lemon of a Mercedes from the defendant and it needed a ton of repairs and he wants the money from the defendant. Now the defendant says he took the car to the dealership to have the car repaired and that voided the warranty. It's the case of a bad case of the bad. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Yana. All right, uh, Mr. And Mrs. Carter, you're rep Mr. Carter, you're representing Mrs. Carter? Yes. Okay, so you bought your car from the defendant's company? Yes. And this is a 2017 Mercedes-Benz C300? Yes. All right, what went wrong? So upon driving the car home, the dashboard lit up that it needed to be serviced, so I took it back the next day. The guy tells me his name was Ronnie, he took the guy that sold me the car. I don't know who this guy is. I've never seen him before in my life. He told me that only Mercedes Benz could take that off. They didn't have the tool to take it off. So when he told me that, he gave me guarantees. He assured me, well, promised me. There's a, a, a warranty that's your guarantee. But he told you to go to the dealership to get the, the uh, warning light turned off? He told me to go to Mercedes to get that turned off. It would cost me about $200. I said, that's not a problem for me. Okay, so what does Mercedes tell you? Mercedes told me that there's $4,800 worth of damage to this car. Damage? $4,800 worth of problems. Okay, with this car. well, what was the reason for the engine light, according to them? Supposedly, the car was completely serviced. But only a Mercedes Benz can take that light off the dashboard. That's why I had to take it on. Okay. So then what happened is that aside from that $200, they took the light off. But then they said, oh, by the way, there's all this other stuff wrong. And do you want us to fix it? And we'll uh, pay us five grand and we'll fix it. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yes. Okay. Let me hear from you, Mr. Eliyahu. Hi, Ari. Your Honor. So we offer an extended warranty to the customer as well as the New York State Lemon Law. The law does not require us to pay third party vendors. I don't think he had the work. You didn't you didn't have any work done by Mercedes Benz, did you? Other than to turn off the light, Mr. Carter? I, I, I wind up I wound up having work done by Mercedes Benz because the guy that I bought the car from, Ronnie, that works for them referred me to them. Yeah, but he referred you to Mercedes-Benz to turn off the light. He didn't refer you to them no, no, to no, honor no, the warranty. No, 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 no. When I got the paperwork from Mercedes-Benz, I took it back to Ronnie and showed him all of these damages to the car. Ronnie said, okay, well, take the car to, to Raleigh's Mercedes-Benz dealer. Is that the same place I, you had already taken the car to? No, that was the second place that I took the car to. Okay. What did you actually pay somebody to fix in your car? I paid Mercedes $500 which, to fix that turn. Which agency? Raleigh? Raleigh. Okay. So you paid them $500. Why are you suing for $4,882? Because $4,800 was, was all of the stuff that was wrong with the car. Let's talk about what the Mercedes dealership said. All right, client states turn signal left illuminated. Found left signal light on side view mirror inoperable. Replace left side view mirror turning signal. Replace three tires. I mean, you can see the tires. That has nothing to do with the defender. It's a used car that you bought. It's not something they hid from you. Replace switch That's block. That's not true. That's not true. You your couldn't arm. see the tires? 
you, you can see the ties, but the depth of the ties, you can't tell the depth of the ties. Of course you can. You the tread the, on the, the tire. Instrument. You can see that. Can absolutely so I would know that. how much the tread on the tires should be. It's not a hidden and I defect. Have the it's not a hidden defect. That's why people have the car looked at by their own mechanic before buying it. Replace switch blocks for touchpad in center console, middle switch block only. Do you know what that is, Mr. Yes. Uh, El Yahoo? Yes, Your Honor. What so is there's that? A, so there's a button in uh, the middle console where you could uh, choose different items on the screen. Uh, possibly maybe the button uh, has a scratch on it or that was being requested to be replaced. Or it doesn't work. Sure. Uh, the defendant would be able to answer that question. I, I would not did, be able to answer Why that did question. they tell you that that touchpad had to be changed? Did they tell you what was wrong with it? They said it doesn't work. Okay. Is that something that's covered under the warranty, Mr. Uh, Eliyahu? If it is a safety hazard, it does include it. So is that if a safety hazard? What is that control? I, I believe it controls the radio. Uh, right now, is it working? Is your radio working in the car? Uh, did yeah, you, the radio works. Did you? I don't have a problem with the radio. Listen to my question. Did you ever have them? Listen up. Listen up. Three listen tires, up. That's no good. Mr. That's Carter. The, the judge, Everybody, the judge stop talking. Me. The judge is talking. Mr. Carter, here's a question I'm asking you. What did that touchpad control? The what? Did you have that changed, or you didn't have it changed? I didn't have a change. Okay, so but your honor, to him, may I say something? No, you may to not. You, according please? to him, no? Mr. Okay. Eliyahu, he is sent to Raleigh by Ronnie. Who is Ronnie? Um, he's the finance manager. Okay, can you get him on the phone? Yes. Perfect. Let's do that. Your honor, may I ask you? Yes. If, if I go into a store and purchase something, and you tell me that this is what something is, and I purchase it from you, and it's a total fabrication. Does, don't I have a recourse? You are attempting to rewrite what your recourse is. Your recourse is exactly what you negotiate. You negotiated a purchase of a used car with a certain type of warranty. You have yet to testify or even complain about something that's actually wrong with the car, other than the left light thing, um, which they and you the, did. How have. about the three tires? How about the three tires? Those that, are not the, depth, the, the tires depth, are not the part of your warranty. Does he have a warranty on the tires, Mr. Eliyahu? So basically, they Mr. just Eliyahu, really open it, so it's legally on the, okay. On the, on the tires. No, you don't. I can answer okay. that. No, you so don't have a warranty So if you know you don't have tires. a warranty, then open your eyes when you're buying a used car. And, and check I did out. open my eyes, but right. I don't know That's the depth of the, of the tire. That's not a hidden defect. It's either part of your warranty or it's not. So no, so they, they can't can just sell you just garbage, but the only thing you get to have paid by them out of their pockets is something that goes wrong that is covered by the warranty. So had he brought the uh, left lamp to your yes. place, the left mirror? Yes. Which I did. Yes. Which I did. Mr. Carter, you can't possibly think it helps for you to yell over me, do you? No, I'm not trying to yell well, over you. Well, that is what you're doing. Your so honor. I'm going to ask you okay, once well, nicely to stop. Now, Mr. I'll Eliyahu, apologize. had he brought the mirror to your place and said, hey, this mirror is malfunctioning, that would have been covered under the warranty, Right. Absolutely, Your Honor. Okay. So your defense to that is, hey, pal, bring it to us to do warranty work, right? You can't just yes, bring it to a yes, third party. And that's absolutely true. His answer to that is, Ronnie told me to bring it to rally, right? Uh, no, he said that Ronnie referred him to our service department, which said to him that they will not cover the no. other items. No, Remember he said, no, he said that Ronnie true. Did Ronnie to the, refer him to rally to fix the mi the mirror? No. Yes, in writing. In writing? He wrote the address and everything. He, he, he wrote the address for me to take the car in his handwriting. I have proof of that. Get, that can I see that? that address. How much did you pay to have the mirror fixed? $500. $500 Do I have the receipt for that? A oh, $498, I think it might have okay. been. Okay. This is this is the paper that Ronnie wrote. To OK, hold the still. Hold still a second. And according to you, that's Ron. Ronnie's handwriting where he writes rally and the phone number and the address. Yes. OK. All right. Let's get try to get Ronnie on the speakerphone. He's on the phone. OK, Ronnie. Yes, hi. According to him, you wrote Raleigh's service department's phone number and you gave him the information to go see Raleigh. Here's a document. Can you see that, uh, Ronnie? Yeah. Okay, is that your handwriting? 
Looks like it, yes. Okay, darling. All right. So he did come in in person then, um, because otherwise, how could you have written all that on top of that form? That's a form that was created by Silver Star Mercedes after he took the car out of there. That's kind of the link that I needed. I'm good. Thank you very much, Ronnie. And here's what I'm going to do. Mr. Eliyahu, I am certainly not going to award Mr. Carter $5,000, $4,882, but I am going to award him the amount that he paid for the mirror because the mirror is something that should, he shouldn't have been sent away. So How about the for, you can talk. stop talking now before I change my mind. $498.19 <laughs> verdict for the plaintiff. If anything goes wrong with that car, you are to take it to Mr. Eliyahu and tell him, is this covered, is this not, and understand whether or not it's a covered issue. So I'm, I'm issuing a verdict in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $498.19. That is my verdict. Good luck, folks. Mr. Yahoo, you're gonna recompense him for that uh, $498. That goes back to him. And you're gonna do with the other items the judge said that you would take care of for him, right? Sure. And you're okay with it? Absolutely. Okay. All right. All right. Mr. Carter, what do you think now? You understand the judge's decision and how do you feel? It's ridiculous. How was I supposed to know the depth of a tire? I don't have no instruments when I'm buying a car to know the depth of a tire. And it cost me $1,200 to go and replace three tires. That should have never been on the car in the first place. All right. Well, you get $498 back and that will wrap right. up the case. Right. All right, Harvey. So, Doug, this is a used Mercedes brings up the point that even if somebody wants to sell you a used car as is, you can still say, uh, uh I want a warranty and you can style the warranty however you want. 30 day parts and labor. It can be major auto parts for a year, whatever it is you want. Negotiate it. You may have to pay a little more, but it may be good in the end. What was the last rock concert you went to? Oh, my goodness. It was on the weekend of the declared pandemic. It was the weekend that things were going to close down, and it was the very last thing I did. And it was a Pat Travers concert right. at Ocean Reef in South know. Florida. Yeah, you no, you were out of town or something. Yeah. I went with the girls. That's right. So the old school rock and roll guitar player, yeah. Pat Travers. That's right. And uh, I think maybe it's... it's we don't go to a lot of concerts now. We saw a, 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 a Latin band play once a latino band what was it grupo grupo cuatro, grupo cuatro cuarenta. cuarenta that was before we were married we've yes. been married 28 years yes. so, like so what 30 was, years ago, well, so. exactly when was our last right. con we right. need to get out more I know, you know right but I, I when i was younger i went to all i saw everybody right. I, mean, I, I saw all the all the the big bands you know i saw the stones and fleetwood mac and the eagles i even saw leonard skinnard in concert then. there's a t-shirt we once saw somebody wearing say that said right. i may be old but i saw all the great yeah, hair bands. Right. <laughs>